I'm Naoki Oshino. I'm in my second year of high school, and my hobby is to draw. Although I'm an introvert and my classmates know that, I have a girlfriend. Sorry, I've got other plans on that day. My childhood friend and classmate, Akane Sakurazuka, and I have been dating for over a year. However, recently, she doesn't hang out with me a lot anymore. Alright, let's go out on some other day when you're free. I'm not the person who wants to be out and about all the time, so I didn't mind when she turned me down. I was happy just to be with her, but I was feeling she had been turning me down way too often recently. It seems like Akane is avoiding going out on dates with me. Daisuke Naruse is another childhood friend of mine. He was my wingman who helped me out to start dating Akane. I think you're thinking too much. It can't be helped if she got other plans. That's true, but this has been going on for a while. But you were never the type who wanted to go out so often, Naoki. Why are you so worried about now? I'm not saying we aren't friendly to each other anymore. It's just like we've come back to being childhood friends. Huh, at least you're still in touch with her. You'll be able to go out on a date with her very soon. Daisuke was optimistic about it. It was true that we came to school and ate lunch together every day. She isn't totally ignoring me, so I decided to wait and see. I didn't have any plans for a date, so I decided to go into town to do a little shopping. I couldn't believe I saw Akane and Daisuke walking together, holding their hands. Akane? Why is she with Daisuke? She said she had plans today. And they're holding hands? This could be... I had a bad feeling. I decided to follow the two. They entered a family restaurant and I followed them in, observing them from a seat that was far away from them. I didn't want to believe what I was seeing, but Akane and Daisuke were sharing their food, acting just like a couple. Akane looks so happy. I can't hear what they're saying, but it's been a while since I saw Akane truly enjoying herself like that. This has to be a date, right? There was no doubt. Too bad she rejected me. But why didn't she tell me directly? Daisuke also said nothing when I asked him for advice the other day. I went over to the two to check what was going on. Akane, can you please explain yourself? N Naoki? Why are you here? I happened to see you, so I followed you. Just to find out that you were cheating, Akane. That is... I guess it can't be helped now that you found out. Daisuke? Akane was reacting awkwardly, but Daisuke chose to become defiant. Akane always wanted to break up with you. She said it was boring when she was with you. Is that true? Why didn't you just tell me then? She was being kind to you. She didn't want to make you upset by rejecting you. It's way more shocking to find out you were cheating though. Daisuke, you knew about it. The fact that I was worried about Akane. I was thinking it was too late at the time. Had you taken more care of Akane, this would have never happened. And I'm sorry about that. Akane, could you please tell me directly that you want to break up with me? Daisuke kept answering my questions, and I haven't heard anything from Akane. I wanted her to settle the matter herself. Stop accusing her. You were the one who started this. Could you be quiet for a moment? I want to talk to Akane. Can't you see you're causing her trouble? You gotta calm down. It's fine, Daisuke. I'll tell him how I feel. Naoki, I decided to date Daisuke. So please end our relationship. Okay, I understand. Thanks for being my girlfriend. There you go. Now stop bothering us from now on. I didn't want to argue anymore, so I left the restaurant. Of course it was my own fault, but I didn't want things to end like this. Daisuke too. Why was he so aggressive? Both of my childhood friends that were so important to me don't exist anymore. They were also lying to me. But they acted as if I was the only bad person. They decided to betray me. I could no longer be friends with the two. Next morning, I didn't want to see Akane's face. So I decided to go to school later than usual. Once I got to my classroom, I was surrounded by my classmates. Oshino-kun, you're such a scum to cheat on your girlfriend! Huh? I feel so bad for Akane, getting deceived by a nerd like you. What do you mean? A nerd like you is a two-timer? <laughs> Get out of here. How were you even able to come to school with a straight face? Know your place! Apparently, they made me the one who was cheating. But why would they have to lie like that? Everyone, please, go easy on Naoki. 
Of course, I can't forgive him for what he has done, but he still is an important childhood friend of mine. Naruse-kun, you're being too kind. Indeed, you shouldn't be too kind to people who betrayed you first. This is our problem. I'll heal the wound in Akana's heart, and we will take care of Naoki ourselves. If you say so, Naruse-kun. You've got such a good friend. Be thankful to him. The classmates who were bothering me left. Daisuke, what are you up to? Daisuke probably was the one who came up with all of this. I couldn't help but get angry by looking at him acting in front of the whole class. If you feel for Akane, don't bother her anymore. For Akane? Did he want to hide the fact that she was cheating? No. Daisuke has gained even more popularity by doing this. Even if I told the truth, nobody would believe me. I never thought he would go this far. I was trying to switch my mind off. I was gazing at a painting on the wall in the corridor. A member of the art club drew it. An artwork that won a bronze prize. I also liked drawing, so watching these drawings calmed me down. Do you like art? The school queen bee, Misaki Shinomiya, began to talk to me. We're in the same grade, but it was my first time talking to Shinomiya-san. Yes, I do. Looking at these paintings calms me down. You look like you're feeling down. Did something happen? If it's okay with you, I could hear you out. She's really friendly, even though it's the first time we spoke. But I was so mentally fatigued, I began to talk about my childhood friends to Shinomiya-san. Wow, you've gone through a lot. <sighs> I have nowhere to go anymore. Why don't you date me then? I can be that place that you can belong to. What kind of joke is this? It's the first time we talked. You don't have to be that polite. You don't know me, Shinomiya-san. Either way, I don't have the energy to fall in love with anyone right now. But it seems like you know about me. You're the most popular girl in the school. There are fewer people who don't know about you. I know about you too, Naoki Oshino-kun. Why do you know my name? Naoki-kun, can you come to the art room after class? I'll answer your question there. Okay. I was interested in what she was going to say, so I accepted her offer. Welcome in, Naoki-kun. So, why did you call me out here? Naoki-kun, I wanted you to see something. What Shinomiya-san showed me was a piece of painting, which wasn't completed yet. Oh, this is really good! I think you can aim for a prize when it's finished. This is what I'm working on right now. Oh, are you a member of the art club? Yes, but I'm the only member right now. I always enjoyed drawing since I was a kid, so I decided to learn it properly. Back in the day, I didn't have any friends. All I looked forward to was drawing. I wouldn't have imagined that you, Shinomiya-san, would have also had such experiences. The reason I changed was because somebody praised one of my paintings when I was in elementary school. Everyone was making fun of me, but one boy that I happened to meet complimented me, and I gained confidence. <laughs> That's a nice way to meet someone. Apparently, that boy was staying over at one of his relatives' place for summer holidays and was drawing a picture for his homework. I was also working on my homework painting, so we were drawing together. Hmm? My memories from elementary school started to come back to me. I had also experienced something similar to what Shinomiya-san just said. I forgot her name, but I remember drawing with a girl during summer holidays in elementary school. I never thought I would meet you again, Naoki-kun. Wait, were you that girl, Shinomiya-san? I remember that girl being more introverted. Do you remember now? I recognized you at first glance, but you never realized it was me. But I had a totally different impression of you at the time. Even if I looked different, I thought you could recognize me by my name. Of course you knew my name, right? Um... I couldn't say I had totally forgotten her name. For you, it might have been a mere memory of one of your summer holidays. But for me, it was a life-changing experience. Without meeting you at that time, I wouldn't be who I am today. I always wanted to meet you again, Naoki-kun. Sorry that I couldn't recognize you. It's fine. I knew my feelings were unilateral. I wanted to talk to you sooner, but I held my emotions back because you had a girlfriend. You even knew about that. I like you, Naoki-kun. I know you just got your heart broken, and it's a tough time for you, but I want to be by your side. She was serious. The girl who had the same hobby as me. 
and we only had good memories of being together. All of my memories with Shinomiya-san lighted up my heart after being betrayed so badly. Thanks for having me. Shinomiya-san offered to bring lunch for me too, so we ate that together at lunchtime. Until then, there were no talks about Shinomiya-san having a boyfriend, so the rumors of her dating me spread really quickly. Shinomiya-san, you have an amazing reputation. Now everyone knows about us. Yes, even though I'm just being myself. But I'm happy that the misunderstandings about you were resolved. Shinomiya-san told her friends that she started dating me yesterday, and that Akane was the one who was cheating. Now, the whole class was talking about how Daisuke could be a liar. Daisuke admitted he was lying. And now, my label of being a cheater is gone. By the way, Naoki-kun, don't you draw anymore? Sometimes I do, but just as a hobby. Why don't you join the art club? I think it would be so fun if we could draw again together. I won't be able to draw anything serious though. I only do it for fun. Shinomiya-san had gotten so much better compared to when she was in elementary school. It was impossible for me to work on something for a drawing contest. I'm the only member, so it's fine even if you want to just draw for fun. Ever since my seniors graduated, I was always alone. That's why I would be really happy if you could be by my side. When I draw, I can concentrate a lot when I'm alone, so that's fine. However, now I remember how much joy it brought me when we used to draw together as kids. I thought it wouldn't be half bad if that's what it was going to be like. I can't say I'm going to officially join the club, but could I also use the art room? I also want to be by your side, Shinomiya-san. You're always welcome! I'll be looking forward to it, Naoki-kun! After class, Shinomiya-san was drawing for competitions, while I just drew what I felt like. It felt so good to be able to share something I loved with her. Our relationship was pretty stable, and it became official that we were dating. On the weekends, we would also spend time together. Done! What do you think, Naoki-kun? The piece of painting she was preparing for the contest was completed. I was watching her work hard all the time. I was so happy that she was able to finish it. This is so beautiful. You definitely can aim for first place. You're flattering too much, but I was able to work so hard on this because you were always by my side, Naoki-kun. Since you started coming here, drawing became even more fun. And that's all thanks to the skills you gained over the years. I'm excited to hear the results. Once I got home, Akane was standing right in front of the door. Akane? What are you doing in front of my house? It was the first time that I talked to her since she rejected me. Welcome home, Naoki-kun. You look like you've been having a lot of fun lately. I guess so. Why don't we... get back together? Looking how you've been doing recently, I think we could get along well. What are you talking about? You betrayed me and made me the bad guy. It's so obvious that I won't date you. Daisuke told me to do so. I had no choice. I never wanted to do that to you. Whatever you say, you can't change the fact that you betrayed me. And by the way, what has happened to you and Daisuke? I'll break up with Daisuke. Because of all of his weird lies, it's been awkward at school. To begin with, he lured me into breaking up with you. Daisuke and Akane had lost their trust from other classmates when the truth came out. Some stood up for them because they were the popular type after all, but nobody knew if they were the next one to be betrayed. I already have Shinomiya-san. Even if she ever rejects me, I wouldn't date a person like you who keeps changing partners. I couldn't stand talking with Akane anymore. I ignored her and went home. When I got to school the next day, Shinomiya-san told me something unbelievable. Naoki-kun, your childhood friend Naruse-kun is a bad person. Huh? After we said bye to each other yesterday, Naruse-kun came to talk to me. He kept on saying terrible things about you, and then asked me to date him. I couldn't stop myself from telling him to shut up and slapping him in the face. I didn't know that happened. Then he said, Naoki's definitely going to get back together with his ex-girlfriend, and ran away, but... Naoki-kun, you're not doing that, right? Uh-uh. I only have my eyes on you, Shinomiya-san. Naoki-kun... Just as Daisuke thought, Akane came to my place right away. If this was all a part of one of Daisuke's plans, I would be completely speechless. Shinomiya-san got her results of the drawing contest. She won first place! All of the work she put in finally paid off! Congratulations for winning first place, Shinomiya-san! Thank you! It's all because of your support, Naoki-kun! No, 
You were the one who supported me. If you hadn't talked to me that day, I can't even imagine what would have happened to me by now. But without me meeting you as a child, I wouldn't be myself today. I'm just so glad to have met you, Naoki-kun. After my childhood friend's betrayal, Shinomiya-san helped me stand up again. I swore to myself to never let go of my precious girlfriend and take good care of her until the day I die. <laughs>